Well, as you can imagine, most people go, underwater what? And that's usually what everybody says. Un underwater rugby, underwater basket weaving, it's not, it's pretty unique. You play this on the bottom with your mass fins and snorkel. A lot of people think it's really odd, but to me it just seemed, wow, that's, that's really, it sounds like so much fun. The way I got introduced to this sport is that I was play, taking a, um, a scuba diving class and the instructor for the class was having us do this strange little sport to just get used to the snorkeling gear. And uh, since I really like being in water, I thought, well, this is actually a really fun game. Anybody really play this game? And he said, come to practice on Tuesday night. And that was more than 25 years ago, so I've been playing a long time. Underwater hockey is played at the bottom of a pool, usually about eight feet deep. We play with about six people on each side, and there's a submerged goal that's about three foot long. It's a trough. Everybody wears snorkeling gear, so you have a mask, fins, and snorkel on, as well as a padded glove and a short stick. It's only about a foot long, made of water plastic. And we play with a three and a half pound lead puck that sits at the bottom of the pool. It, it's supposed to be a non-contact sport, but in basketball, it's non-contact. You, you know, you always make contact, but but uh, it's it's fairly safe because the water cushion a, a lot of the contact down the bottom. The other big challenge is that it's a three-dimensional sport because you have to play at the bottom but you do have to come up to breathe. So you have to take yourself out of the play at appropriate times. You know, what's interesting about underwater hockey is people think that it's a breath-holding game, but it really is not. Uh, if you look at how long people actually stay underwater, it's maybe seven, 10 seconds at most. Uh, it's really a game of knowing when to pass and when to go up. You don't want to stay with the puck until you run out of air. That's, that's, uh, that's, a, that's not going to work. You want to uh, have that extra 10, 20, maybe 30% left. Turn around, find the best teammate to pass it to, give it to that player, and then you want to get back up, get a uh, fresh breath of air, and, and then look to where you want to drop back in. A lot of new players have a tendency to kind of try to follow the puck around and chase the puck, but you, what you really want to do is be in position for the next play that's going to happen. It, it's, um, it, it's really nice to, to feel yourself getting, being able to keep up in a sport. I mean, I'm, you know, as I'm getting older and, and you know, a little slower in so many other sports, it's, it's a really good sport um, as you age. It's, it's fairly easy on your body and it's, it's a really nice way to stay in shape. Thank you.